Today on To The Point, we're celebrating 100. That's not years, that is 100 episodes. Come and join us. Welcome to Popcorn Talk, featuring movie discussion, news, and interviews. Popcorn Talk. We talk movie. All right, you guys, welcome on in to The Point with Kristen Burt, presented by Dance Network and Popcorn Talk, of course. And you just heard that I, we are celebrating 100 episodes here of To The Point. And we want to thank all of our listeners and viewers for supporting the show. It is so such a thrill to be able to bring the best in dance to all of you each and every week. And bringing the best to dance this week, Josh Price. Hi, what's up? Welcome back to the show. Thank you. It's, it feels good to be back. I miss the lights and the, the microphone. You're ready. <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> you know, it's funny because I went back and looked. I was trying to remember when you came in, but it was mm -hmm. May of 2018. Yeah, that's crazy. And you were here with Kevin Fry. Yes, my homie. He's yes, right here. Right here. Like, different that? studio. We were actually in a different studio. Okay, I thought yeah. there was an upgrade. It looks I a little like different. Yeah. yeah, this is a little cozier, I think. Um, and so you guys can go back and watch that episode, of course. And you said I had braces. Had and I braces. Didn't remember that. I was a little stressed. It was my first podcast. Had a little lift. Because my teeth and stuff, so <laughs> you want to go watch that. But now you're the wise old age of 16. 16 years old. Well, look at that. Amazing. Ready to go. All grown up <laughs> and back on the podcast. I'm excited, yeah. Yeah, well, you know, it's funny, too, because I was thinking back to last year and... S rank, yeah. we you guys were on season two of World of Dance, but it had just started airing, or it was just about to air, I believe. I think it just it was just about to air. Yeah. Just about to air, yeah. and you said, "Do you know what happens?" And I said, "You guys make it to the top four. And he goes, "Okay, you know." <laughs> 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 you were testing Dang, me, yeah, which is great. I was like, great. I was like sure. yep. And he was like, okay, you know, you got it. But we couldn't talk about it yeah. at all, obviously. Yeah. Um, Didn't so, want to get sued or anything. No, <laughs> I don't either. And NBC knows that I know mm. the outcome, and I yeah. respect that because yeah. they are so great giving me all the contestants, yes. and they bring them here week after week, so I appreciate that. And yeah, you really got you got a nice lineup of people who's been here. Yes, yeah. it's been a really fun three seasons altogether, fun yeah. 100 episodes, and we got a lot of great stuff coming the next. I'm excited. All right, good. Do you know how long you want to go for as long as i can honestly it's a good answer you know it's, it's funny because you think that sometimes you some months when you're like booking you know people to come on the show you feel mm -hmm. like i don't know if there's any more stories to tell and then yeah. something will happen like someone will dm me or i'll get an email or something will happen and i mm -hmm. think oh no there's another story yeah. that needs to be told there's so, never enough you always there's always people waiting talk and spread their knowledge and stuff so you'll be good Oh, good. Yeah, I love that. Josh yeah. is predicting I'm going to be good. I know. Yeah, you'll be good. <laughs> At least for another 100 episodes. Yeah. But I think also I like shining a spotlight on dance. Mm -hmm. And there's there's so much growth. And you guys are doing so many incredible things. That Thank you. We're trying. Yes, but it's fun for me to be able to give you guys an even bigger platform. Yes, thank you. We want to speak our truth and just, I guess, have a place to speak in front of the camera instead of like kind of just being behind it dance-wise because we're not really having a chance to talk. Right. But... It's really nice what you're doing here. Thank no. you. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Well, let's talk about you. And I want to talk a little bit about World of Dance because mm -hmm. we we had to skip over it the yeah. last time you were here. And now that we are just about airing season three because it starts February yeah. 26, how do you feel about the whole experience? Have you been able to sort of wrap your brain around it? Yes and no. Yes being because it it's so crazy because they filmed season three last year. Mm -hmm. And we also filmed our season last year. So it's just like that all happened in a year. And it's still like how everything's like moving so fast. And I'm just like, wow, that's crazy. But yes, I have because I just love. What was the question again? I'm have you wrapped your brain around it? Yes. Honestly. Yes, I have. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, I'm still wrapping my brain around I the know, question. Yeah, I was just like, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I have. It's um, It was a crazy experience. And I'm so grateful for it to do it twice. Because I was with I'm a Beast in season one. Mm -hmm. And just to, from getting cut season three. Oh no, getting cut from round three, the first season, and then going all the way to the end. It was a huge difference and um bigger boost in my confidence and like how our um how I portrayed my dancing and like me um evolving from season one to season two kind of oh i think yeah. it was a big uh, jump for you too because you were competing in the junior category because there's yeah, there wasn't even junior that. team at the yeah. time and then you jumped to the upper team category so yeah. i think there's a lot more expectations and responsibility placed on mm -hmm. you and you were 15 when you were shooting the show yes and still had to do school me and bailey were chilling <laughs> i'll never forget the uh the first because we were i don't even remember how they shot it they shot it um each division, I think, twice a, was it twice a month or twice a week? 
so they would shoot it like our division was first so a uh, uh, upper and then junior and then junior team and then like uh the duos and trios and all that stuff mm-hmm. and they would uh so we were first and it was i think january 4th and it was super cold here and it was me bailey and then um my friend matt he's from embodiment because he was i think 17 at the time mm-hmm. and we were the only three kids in school in this like huge tent and it's just freezing cold our parents are sitting there it's just my mom and judy and um we were freezing cold and they had like the little heating tubes yes and it just wasn't a good time how much work did you actually get done be honest it's okay from one to ten (laughs) i'd say like i'd say five okay yeah in between there yeah because i don't even know yeah it was about five it's it's hard it would go from five to four depending on the day my mom's saying three but it was definitely a four or five never a three yeah i think bailey was saying they were even bringing you guys blankets and stuff because it was so cold in that tent yeah and they knew as the weeks progressed they knew that we really couldn't like really do school because like we were we were rehearsing from like when we got off set so say like five to like five in the morning and then we have school at seven mm-hmm. and then one time we drove um you know uh snow globe yep yeah so we we, we stayed in burbank and then we had rehearsal at Snow Globe, and from like midnight to like four, and then we at four we got our email like, oh, we have to be at, or me and Bailey had to be at school at like six a.m. Oh my gosh! So by the time we like got back to Snow Globe, we only had like thirty minutes to be downstairs in the lobby to go do school for like five hours until we had to go dance full out. Oh yeah, it was a lot. That's exhausting. Mm-hmm. I mean, and and you know you're young too, so you always find a way to find that energy. But yeah. you do have a responsibility to the rest of the crew to be on point and not be like, I'm really exhausted or yeah. I'm not going to make a mistake in this round. Yeah, we never did. That's yeah. why we would just mostly use our time to like watch like videos from rehearsal and like remember like new details and stuff like that. But towards the end, because I think Michael is the only adult besides S ring. Mm-hmm. Um. And so it was just me, Charity, Andreas, and in the lab, we would all just be like, like gone and like so tired and no one was doing school and the teachers were okay with it because they knew that we were like about to die if we didn't get this, this nap. (laughs) You're like, I need this nap for sure. And there's also a lot of pressure. And I think, you you know, you're placing the pressure and Mm -hmm. making sure that you guys do as well as possible. Yeah. You've made it all the way to the world final, which is incredible. That was crazy. But everyone has two numbers. Yeah. And it was, it was funny because we had, by the time we finished the third number i think we had to already have the second one done or like something like that because oh no we had to have the first one done in two days because we had to present it to j-lo for mentoring yep and we had nothing we literally had nothing <laughs> and she was like okay like show us a little bit of your routine and we were just like all right we were just like going. here's a move yeah we're, <laughs> we're like yeah we'll, we'll save it for later though like you don't we don't want to ruin the whole surprise what did j-lo say when you're presenting just a sliver of yeah, the routine she's like oh i can see what it's gonna be i'm really excited like you know like i don't know if she actually meant that or that's what people were saying but we would we would give her a little taste and like just a little s ring juice and she'd be like okay like i i understand and this was the piece that she selected the music and this yeah. was the one with the conductor yes that was she she picked I think that we song. have a clip of that too uh, ah. it's from the one from world final clip i yeah. i love this because i felt like it was so different from what you guys mm. had done in the the prior rounds yeah when someone gives you music though did you did Melvin? I think Melvin was Melvin rolls with it. Yeah, he just he's goes. So chill. Yeah. But how about for all of you guys when you're given something a little bit different? Was this totally out of the box of what you had been like? Just a little bit because we didn't know how Melvin was going to portray this through his choreo. Mm-hmm. So that was the only like we don't know what's going to happen. But we always know. That's why I think our chemistry is so great because we never really ever doubt Melvin in the end or whenever we think we're going to or like we're like oh we don't know about this it always turns around and it's just like the best thing ever like people love this piece and we were just like we don't know how this is going to be right what i loved about it i loved the levels of it i felt like it added a little bit more height to uh the movement and the piece compared to what you guys had done in some of the other rounds and i thought that that was just an exciting element for a world final yeah it was it was a good process because we were thinking of for since me and Melvin, we did the first season together. Mm-hmm. We did. Uh, he's, he was with Trap Kiss, and I was with I'm a Beast, and we both got cut the third round, and that's how we met. We were we were in the lobby, and we were like, oh, like you guys got cut, yeah, we too. And then we like became like friends, and that's why I got his number. And we played season two the way that, 
or a different way from how we played season one. Right. So we were just like, for some reason, we were talking about this. It was crazy. For some reason, for season, no, for round three, people love to like be different and like take that leap and like or do that do emotional something. piece if exactly. you've been hard yeah and we were just like we just need to do what we've been doing for the first two rounds just even better and then after that then you can start to experiment because i don't know the third round's the i think that's the hardest round for me well because you lose 50 percent of the the, the oh, acts yeah, of, yeah. yeah so they just they get rid of half of and you they, and they're like they're we're so out. nitpicky it's just like you don't want to why take a risk when you can do that at, to like secure america's vote too like even though like they don't vote but like just so like you can build your fan base after that. Right, to that show they're rooting for you. Exactly, yeah. Yep. And that's what we... We, we kind of did that in the right way, but there was still some stuff that we could have like this or fixed. But, yeah, I think us knowing how the layout was of season one definitely helped us with uh, season two. I heard that a lot from people that did season one and came yeah. back in some way, shape, or form in season two. Obviously, the lab had a different strategy yeah, coming exactly. into season two. You guys did as well. DNA, I've spoken with Luca and Jenna Lynn. Yeah. And, and having an understanding of how the show works, even though I know they, they switched up the schedule and they did some things better, yeah. um, you guys were already used to that stage which yeah. is i i went and saw it for the first time in person it's, in season it's, three it's, it's a lot overwhelming it, it's and so crazy it gave me a much greater appreciation for what you guys are doing out there on the stage because the you know the 360 camera that's running mm -hmm. above the stage the led floor there's a lot of lights it's a theater yeah. in the round um the audience like sometimes they scream too loud where you can't even hear the music yeah and, and the beeps i finally got to hear the beeps the, where the, it's like the scary beep, beep. beep yeah the scary beep that everyone talks about i heard it it's, in person and i was like this is no joke yeah i like i get ptsd like, that's what i was time. thinking post-traumatic stress every disorder on that i hear that <laughs> even when i like play the mix for fun because i'm like oh let me just like dance like because i miss doing it yeah and then i'm like oh my god i forget the beeps are there <laughs> Um, how did you feel walking away from the experience, you know, you guys had to keep in secret for a long time that you had made it all the way to the finals, which was incredible. Yeah, we, um, it was hard. We mostly just had to text, like, each other and yeah. be like, yeah, we really won. Like, we won. Like, that's so crazy that we, like, made it this far and all this stuff. But I guess me, like, or my mom knowing made it easier because, like, I could tell somebody. And then most of my, like, friends were already, mm -hmm. like, in the circle. So I wasn't really like, oh, I got to tell somebody. I was just like, uh, like you already know. Or, yeah, like, a lot of people knew. knew. People had I talked. was like, oh, okay, like, all right, then we can talk about it. <laughs> exactly. Because I didn't say anything. You told me, so <laughs> I'm not going to get sued. No, I'm not getting in trouble. Yeah. And, and people aren't putting it, as long as they don't put it out there on social media. Um, Some so people. Josh Price yeah. said. <laughs> yeah, that that happened a couple times. I know that happened. Sean was telling me about that. Uh, well, like One of his fans was like in the audience. And then like right after like went in and i think they had to like take that whole thing down and was like yeah. they didn't make it to like the fourth or like the fifth round or i was like whoa that's that's crazy it's stressful and i i don't know how they keep the audience quiet i know that they say that they sign an nda they did the same thing with dancing with the stars juniors but it's kind of a tough one to enforce if someone's on an anonymous yeah. social media account i think my friends were saying that they took their phones and like put them in some like glass case or something like that they have those cases where you can't unlock them they have to yeah. unlock them when you get back and you can keep your phone on you but it's locked in this little pouch i was like then i would just give you my phone after that, that that's there's no point of like <laughs> holding this glass case to just like hold it i think that they don't want to be in charge of it while the show's going on they want yeah, you in charge of it, I feel it. and then they'll un unlock <coughs> it but uh yeah it it's you know with social media it's tough to keep some of these shows that pre-tape secret yeah that's the fun part though it's the, the thrill it's like is someone gonna expose us or are we all good yeah who knows how does it feel not to be a part of season three because you were a part of season one and two mm. do you feel a little left out no i feel great I'm, <laughs> i feel great like, no problem no stress can focus more on school but i was i feel great it's um it's a lot it's um a lot to handle mentally mm -hmm. i don't think like, if I did it again, like, I wouldn't be as stressed. I don't think I would be as stressed at all. Because just knowing all the layers and, like, how the layout is, I'd be like, okay, it's like, I don't know, riding a bike. Right. Once you figure it out. You've got that muscle. Yeah, I'll know that, all right, the audience is going to do the whole, like, pat on the floor and you're going to get stressed out, That's but don't be so stressed. so loud, too, when they're on the stage it's so, hitting their like, hands. Even watching the show, like, when we were all watching it together, we were like, you feel everything that happens again. Probably comes rushing back. So fast, too. It's like, oh, like, I feel like I'm on stage, like... 
Yeah, it's crazy. Is there anyone you're looking forward to watching in season three? Because there's some great acts yeah. in season three. My friends, uh, Julian and Char, <gasps> Charlize, they're doing a duet this year. I'm excited. I already. I, I put me, in yeah. a request to get them here on the show. So. Yeah. You I'll, let them know. I'll, yeah, I'll be like, yo, get on the show. What get on the doing? show. I, and yeah. I put it in, rec- they gave me a list and I, mm. I had them on my on my list. Yeah. So I starred them. You'll like those two. They're, they're good people. Because I've known Julian for about 11 years because we grew up together. Went to the same studio in Jersey. Mm-hmm. So that's we have that connection. So he's kind of like me. He's just like a lot more like outgoing. He's like, he's crazy. He's that's a, good. Yeah, so you'll like him. But I'm excited for them. I've seen a little bit of what they've done because Julian's like asked me for advice and like notes and stuff. And I, whatever I say, it doesn't really matter at the end. But I love what they're doing. And um, it's really going to help Julian as a choreographer because he choreographed. And it's going to help him evolve and give him like a different layer of who he is. And I'm excited to see him go from there. That's good. So um, it's going to be really good. Who else is on the show? Um, oh, Unity. Oh, they're going to... Unity gonna LA. Destroy. Yes. Yeah. With Tassandra Chavez. Yes. As the, uh, That's going to be crazy. Choreographer. She's great. I put in a request for her because they have Ashley and Zach oh, yeah. in they, Unity LA. Yeah. So they're back for season three, which will yeah. be great. That's going to be exciting. I have no idea. I haven't seen anything. I know it's just going to be like amazing, though. They just put out Lauren Yakima's solo Yeah, I today. saw that. Yeah, that was so, really good. And I'm a excited. lot of people that watch So You Think You Can Dance know Amy Yakima. She won season 10, so it's her little sister. And yeah. I think Amy did some of the choreography so yeah it's it's just i love how they're not because the first season i do recall they um what did i just say i do recall that doesn't make sense oh you do recall you I, remember i recall yeah. um <laughs> they i know how they played it out and they just got like everybody they're like all right who's just like great right now and they just got all of like like the best crews and like all these like top 10 like people and put them all in the season they're like all right like compete for a million dollars do it because that was just like there were so many different angles like like you had Ian, and then you had like Fiction, and then the Twins, and then like Jabberwockies, and you were just like, Kinges. "What's happening?" Exactly, it, you're just like, "Was your mind blown on season one?" Because when I even just saw the cast list, I thought, "Oh, holy cow, they're not joking with this re- show." Yeah, they're going in. They're and, going in big time. And I was just like, "How are we even here? Like, why are we here?" <laughs> no, but I'm a Beast is you know yeah. very well known. I mean, what Wildebeest and Janelle mm-hmm. are doing are really incredible. Yeah, exactly. That's why I was like, "Oh, we belong there," but it's still just like. Do we really belong here? Like, you do, and I wish crazy. you guys had gotten more shine on season one because yeah. I'm a Beast is very well known in the industry. Mm. Um, but if someone in middle America is not following what's happening you yeah. know, uh, and online, maybe they don't know and they kind of miss that opportunity. Yeah. It was so, so quick that first it was season. So, yeah, they... They we really they really played us. We were like, oh, like I think we hyped up every episode. We're like we're gonna be on. Like make sure you watch. And then it was like, Doo-doo! and then you're like, well, there they and go. Like, everyone's like, oh, I didn't see him. Like, cause on the East Coast, people be like, oh, I didn't see him. Like, really? Like, you sure? You didn't see us? Like, we're on the East. Like, you didn't see us at all. Like, so that was really upsetting. We'd be like, oh dang. Oh, next week we'll be on for sure. Still didn't see you. I'm like, oh okay. Um, are we? I don't even know who to call. Like, <laughs> who's come, when are we gonna be on? We didn't get no email. Oh, it was, it was yeah. Crazy. It was it was weird because they had such a short season. They didn't have enough. It was a one hour show. Yeah, I believe ten weeks the first season, and there was not enough time at all. It was like boom, 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 yeah. boom. And so when some people were saying, "Oh, we were on season one," I'm like, "Really? You <laughs> no, didn't yeah, know? No, you're so serious. Yeah, yeah." And season two, there were some acts that were cut even from the broadcast, even with the extended time. Yeah, that was crazy. I was like, "You sure you didn't even get like your five seconds?" Like, no. At all? I, my f- friend Kaylee Ware did season one and season two. She did it as a duet in season yeah. one. Had a blink of a moment in season one. Then season two got cut completely. That's so crazy. Or and- there are so many groups that I was like, you were definitely going to be shown and they weren't shown. And I was like, that doesn't even make sense. You know, it, it doesn't. And it's so hard because we're not on the production side. Yeah. And- they have a story to tell, and they have angles that they want to hit. And sometimes you think it seems so obvious their story, but to whatever storyline that they wanted to follow, it just didn't fit into the narrative. Yeah, exactly. And that's when you have to remember, like, it's great that you guys are also talented, but on the TV side, they're like, we have our own story, and that's yeah. what happens. Like, and like things... their own like play by play and everything. And how things come out in the end. And so sometimes we get frustrated as audience members, but... Yeah, that's why um, I like what Ian did when he um, was on the show with the Young Lions, how he wasn't for sure, because we really, he was the only smart one out of the whole... Oh, no, him and Ken just too. They were just like, we don't know if we're going to be on for sure, so we're going to film all of our dances and then just air them right after 
the show so people like just in case we weren't on and they right. would just air like okay this is what we were gonna do if like we were on the first yep. episode and all this stuff and i was just like that's so smart and then they got their dances out and they got to see like and even though they were on like most of it but like it just um you had like another like video to watch after to like get more connected with them after right with your fans and if someone was introduced to ian for the first time on the show or kinjas yeah. for the first time there they go. Maybe they're on their YouTube page now, and now they see all the their yeah, other work. Yeah, and then they like post like, okay, rehearsal footage from this round. And you're like, oh my god, like they rehearse, and people are like, yeah. Oh, I when love I'm that. into something, I love every extra. Yeah. I want to see the rehearsal. I want to see what happened after. I want to yeah, see exactly. backstage. So when I'm all in, I'm all in. People love them vlogs. People do. <laughs> they certainly do. Um, so when we had Melvin here, he mm. talked about wanting to maybe go back at a certain point i'm sure yeah, you saw this so because yeah. your mom said that she watched <laughs> yeah she watches it a lot you know she, she wakes up to that she, she will I, I mentioned ruth of just a little bit on a melvin's interview and she liked it so she played it a couple times yeah you know just right from her part just, <laughs> just to mention at the gym like like i said i love my dance moms <laughs> you guys are all so love great dance i moms. do <laughs> and um but i thought melvin had some interesting things he thought he said if i come back i i have a trio in my Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if it's season four or something in the future, but he said, I want Josh in my trio. Yeah. I was like, oh, thanks, bro. Like, I want you in my trio, too. Um, <laughs> yeah, we, well, here's an idea. Would you come back as your own act and then say, Melvin, come on in? Hey, you never know. You never know what's going on up here. Right. But we have we have been talking about it after the interview. Shout out Popcorn Talk. Yeah. Out, yeah to, the to the point. point sparked you know, an idea. 100th episode. <laughs> um, but after that, I like hit him up and I was like, yo, you like serious? He's like, yeah, bro. And I'm not sure if I can like say it for sure, but we, if season four does get picked up, because I'm not sure, I'm going to ask someone once season three like airs because it really takes like a week until like nbc's like all right here's more money yeah like, they picked it up uh again. a week before season That's two even saying. aired yeah. yeah but we'll see what happens this is a new time slot for them exactly, so yeah. they may just be working out i'm going to assume mm -hmm. we're gonna have a season four that's what i was it's, thinking it's been very successful and so. if there is one we we do have we do have a third person we possibly are going to do it i think we're going to start because um there's this competition called Hip Hop International. Of course. And Where is it? Have, is it in Vegas this year? No, or it's in Arizona. Arizona, okay. <sighs> it's so hot over there. It's Shout so out hot. Arizona, <laughs> Electrolytes. That's my fam. But, oh, it's so hot over there. Like, me thinking about it is making me sweat. It's, I'll never forget, they had hot rain one day. Oh. I walk outside and it's like, just like hot drops on my face. You're like, I'm going to burn. I was like, <laughs> what do what do I do? Like, I, I don't know what to do. I'm just trying to get some canes. <laughs> fried chicken and oh it's you okay i have not tried canes fried chicken oh, by the way so you guys good. and fiction was here swearing up and down that i need to try canes fried chicken because you should have told me i, I would have brought you it's something. like in downey or isn't it yeah there's one in downey or there's one like by huntington i think okay but it's or no there's one like close to snow globe but it's so worth the drive all right I, i've got to add that to my list i'm gonna do it one day and i'm on social media i'm gonna be like i'm finally trying canes yeah um oh yeah but yeah but, let's talk about this trio yeah, because so, besides fried chicken yeah we can talk about that all day but we we do have a third person and um if we um are for sure about season four then we're gonna do the trio because they just added a new trio division for hhi this year Ooh. which i know is gonna be like super insane but Melvin was like, you know, I'm trying to win that too. So, goals. Because he's won like every division so far. Um, so, we're can just going to try. Can you say who the third member is? Mm. <laughs> is it. It's, uh, you can guess. I, I probably can, won't say. It. I mean, okay. Male or female? Um, oh, is it Bailey? Mm, mm. I mean, there's still. Some, Could it be Bailey? That's the thing. There, it's, there, there's so many possibilities still. Right. Um, depending on the third person's like schedule. They're a very they're a very busy person. Okay, so it could be like a Sean or a Casey. I don't know. I, I don't know. That's that's four. That's four. <laughs> that's people. four. I know, but I figured <laughs> yeah. they're both busy. Yeah, Bailey's busy. Sean's busy. Ooh, Casey's busy. You haven't had this person on the show. Mm. They're all right. So I've had I've had Bailey, you? Sean, and Casey on. They've all been on. I don't know. I don't think so you had this person. So that takes them out of the mix for the trio, possibly. And yeah. So. I think it's always been a thing, though, because me, Bailey, and Melvin have such a good connection. I'm actually about to post a video because we just took Tucker's class, Tucker Barkley. Yep. And that video came out yesterday, and I was just like, 
I was watching. I was like, we look pretty good. So it was the three of you. Yeah, it was the three of us. So that might happen, but you haven't had them on the show. Okay. They internet sleuths get to work. We talked about them before. We talked about this person before. Today? Before yeah, before like walked in door before we started broadcasting. So you want to let that? <laughs> All right, I gotta let that sink in. Brain. I'm like, who was I talking about? But yeah, so if season four or season four oh. does get picked up, then it might. Okay. Might be a possibility. Okay. I like that. Yeah. Um, you can, and, you can, I'll totally tell you right after this. Uh, not a problem. Gotcha. And then everyone's going to slide into my DMs, Josh. Know. You know you that's going to You got to guess. You got to guess. <laughs> uh, and, but internet sleuths go to work because that will be kind of fun. Uh, link in the comments below. We love that. Yeah. Um, we love some tea. Yeah. Know? We love stuff like that. So, um, this possible trio, mm -hmm. are you, you'll be doing hip hop internationals, maybe? Yes. Maybe. And then, like and then, seventy five percent. Okay, now, and then yeah. if there's a season four, maybe you'll try and get on the show with that trio. If all yeah. goes well at Hip Hop if, International, if there's a season four, you're gonna see us on there. I love it. Yeah. Okay, you're ready. You guys are ready. Yeah, yeah. I'm not sure you're ready. You're like, uh. it's gonna be. Are know. you ready for I'm just, beep? I'm just beep. no, I'm not. <laughs> but I'll be ready. But I'll I'll never forget we when we did um round two. Or the duels. I don't know why I keep calling it round. They said not to call it round. Yeah. The duels. Um, it just sounds so weird to say. Like the duels. The duels. The cut. Yeah. World like, final. Exactly. But we did the duels and we like get on stage. We're like super high. A lot of our friends were in the audience. So they were just screaming. And we missed like the first two ticks. There's four. So mm -hmm. we only heard was tick, tick. And then we like kind of just like. Because we were, we were so in our head. Yeah. So we like low key missed it. But we were on it. Oh, good. So there's like a, I don't know, it might just have been me, but I think when I, it's, um, it was our drop it like it's hot round. Ooh. And I don't know. Do I have drop it like it's hot up there? Uh, but yeah, I just know that. Oh, I do. Yeah. I do. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. If you go back, you see like the back, like of our, like, of like, I don't know. It was like a car. Like we're like a little off. Yeah. It was just, just because, like a moment. Yeah. But I knew in, in my head because I'm right behind, um, Jason, I think. And I was just like, I know I was totally off in the back. I was just like waddling. <laughs> and you're like, I were you but thinking I, I'm glad I'm in the in the back yeah, of this I was moment? Like, oh, I was like, we're so lucky that I'm you in don't, the back. You don't get those moments back. They don't, don't say cut, let's start again. I yeah. mean, if someone falls, they fall. And they show it. They do show it. We've seen a lot of tricks go awry from time to time where someone falls on yeah, an area. That's why we, we try not to tuck. do as much tricks unless we're like super secure about it. That's why it's so weird because like I was the only one flipping. And I'm not even like like I'm no Trey Dorego or, I, or anyone. When I'm, I had Trey here, that was it was one of those things I thought you flying over the desk half the time and you know, tired crazy. after school and like yeah. doing rehearsal and and I, I see it's all the lights on that stage too and, and, so, and the rap. So I don't know how he keeps his spot sometimes. That's what I said. Cause I know there's even like during rehearsal and I had to do a flip and I was just like, I see like this one flash and I'm just like he says he's fine, but he's crazy. I don't know. I, but he also said that uh, since they filmed season two, he's had a growth spurt, so he's had to relearn some of his tricks, which I thought oh, was okay. interesting because he's cool. taller. Yeah, <laughs> so he has it like more more down pat. Yeah, yeah. So he, he said he's kind of had to relearn some things because his center of weight is a little different. And yeah. <laughs> We'll see. Now I'm thinking the whole time. Now I'm thinking about the trio because I'm just like so excited. We're ready for it. it. Is yeah. I I know you've been exploring choreography um quite a bit. You just yes. did a concept video. Yes, it did. I'm, yeah, I'm trying to. I'm really trying to bring back like the old like Ian Eastwood, Brian Foose videos where we used to watch like the for like the full 15 minutes before like a minute of dancing because. Now it's all about like I think it was all Vine's fault too. I was talking to my friend about six it. Six seconds. And like you can fit so much in six seconds, so you can be able to fit a full dance routine in thirty. Yeah. But like it's like that's not the point, and it's just because our attention pay our our attention spans are so short. So, uh, I'm trying to bring it back, and like slowly but like surely, I'm just trying to like make it longer. You know. So right, do you really want to do like a fifteen minute type that's, of? That's the plan. But for now, the next one I'm doing is um, I'm trying to film it. And, um, well, no, I'm filming it at the end of March. And it's going to be, like, like this, like, close to, like, five minute. Mm -hmm. And it's just going to be – it's a song that I've always wanted to do, like, forever, ever since I heard it. I've been in love with it. What is it? Can you um, tell us? Yeah, it's called, um, it's called Onyx Dolphin. It's a real – no one knows this song. And um, not no one knows it, but, like – it's not. It's not like it's playing not on, on the radio every five seconds. Never, never. It's not even playing like 
on SoundCloud, really. <laughs> like, it's like, I think it's not even on SoundCloud anymore. I don't know for some reason, but that's just a song that I just like really love. Mm-hmm. And I'm just going to like put in like a lot of my heart and soul into it. And uh, that's just going to, you'll see that soon. And I'm just going to try, because I really want to explore of like more of who I am and like try and figure out who I am as like a choreographer because my goal is to be a creative director so I have to you know people have to see what I'm trying to do that nappy tabs exactly they're incredible I was really interesting being able to watch them work yeah um, behind the scenes on world it's really it's really I love watching them they're like one of my biggest inspirations it's a great inspiration to have because uh we had Brittany Cherry in here who yeah yeah. of course supervising choreographer and (coughs) she's a part of team nappy tabs and it's interesting that yeah they are so busy now they'll be working on up to 14 projects at a time which is un- yeah. I'm not even exaggerating not, I like to yeah. exaggerate this is not an exaggeration not. and they will have the team go out and choreograph however Nappy Tabs always knows what's going on knows has approved the movement that's being done Yeah. Um, so they're delegating responsibility but at the same time it's got the Nappy Tabs stamp Touch. of approval yeah. and it's... signature and then they'll come in and they'll say nope we need to fix this for the camera and yeah I was literally sitting next to next to Napoleon just like on set and like we're just eating and his phone's just blowing up and I was just like what's happening I was like is it your birthday he's like nah man it's just work it's just it's just like different apps of like group text like whatsapp and then wechat and then like his like actual iMessage is just like that's so crazy because at any given time they're working on world of dance a, a separate project for JLo yeah something for the Grammy something Britney. for Disney yeah like Britney, yeah, they were doing the Britney project, Gosh. which is on yeah. hold for now in Vegas. Um, so you think you can dance? They'll always even come in and at least do either a number or work at Academy. Yeah, it's just that's just not going a joke. In and, and and to be able to accomplish what they have, because it, at certain points, dancers, you know, you could become a choreographer, you could become a teacher. A couple select few would wind up as directors, like yeah. a Bob Fosse or something. But exactly. not they have opened so many doors and so many avenues for everyone. It's really fascinating. And they're just they just keep doing it and they just keep inspiring people like me, you know, hopefully. What's the biggest thing you think you've learned from them? I think I've learned a lot of production like behind the scenes stuff, just but not besides like production, but learning how to run a show in the right way and um Figuring out, like, what it takes and, like, it's not just about you and your team. It's literally about from the the lighting guy to, like, you have to respect everyone that you work with. Because, like, they're, it's half of them, it's, like, half of the time it's their job. Like, they could mess up your whole show. Mm -hmm. So just treating everyone right. That's what I really learned because they treat everyone right. That's good to know. Literally from, like, the craft lady to, like. It starts at the top and it works its way down. Exactly, If you're treating everyone as equal as you're respecting their talent. Then everything goes well. It does. And, then, and people are happy to come to work. I think that's the other that's thing the people thing, yeah. forget. Because then, because we always know there's going to be one bad day on set. It's just going to happen that day when the lighting's not working right or yeah. the soundboard or whatever it is. Um, and how are you handling a crisis or a bad day? Yeah. And if they're still handling it calm, cool, being respective of everyone saying, like, how can we fix this? You're then, still going to walk yeah. away going, that wasn't the greatest day on set, but we had fun anyway. And it's a new day tomorrow. That's right. I was going to bring cookies over. and like, feel better. <laughs> Go to yeah. the craft services and eat a cookie. Yeah. No matter. <laughs> that uh, the is food excellent. at World of Dance is is the best. At least my season. Last season is I like went to go um I was helping a crew like choreograph mm-hmm. and um it just wasn't it just wasn't the best. And I was For like, season three? Yeah, I was just like, what's happening? Hmm. They moved sound stages too. I know that I was like, maybe it's that. Maybe it's just the <laughs> energy in the room because yeah. the food was dry i don't even want to i was going to say shout out to the craft team but i can't do that i can't do that can you tell us who you were helping what crew you were helping on season yes three? um it was electro crew okay great in the junior team division i, love and I that. helped him out with uh round two and three excellent yeah but you know i don't like to talk about it or not i don't like to it's just like i don't really like i'm on to the next thing right and i totally forgot until like right now that i did that because they actually competed last week and I, I flew out to Arizona and helped them with the piece, and they got first place. And I Good was for like, them. and it's just like that's like the little stuff like that is what like helps me keep going. Like okay, like I like have something. Like I'm not crazy, and I like 
I don't know. I like God's who really thinks, helped me out. Who thinks you're crazy? Me. I think I'm crazy. <laughs> we don't think you're crazy. I mean, well, think about this. Um, you're 16. Mm-hmm. I mean, you're you're doing things that other people aren't dreaming about even starting until they're 25, or you know, th- yeah. they don't have the big dreams that you've already accomplished at your age. I feel it. Yeah. I mean, you should give yourself a pat on the back every once in a while, right? Just once, you know. Yeah. Just very. I mean, because you helped this crew. They came in first. Without your efforts. Yeah, I'm. I, I don't know. It's just like it's a lot, and it's like I. I feel like the more I think about it, the more I like overthink about it. Mm-hmm. So I just like I'm like, all right, cool. You guys got first. Like you don't want to put the pressure on yeah, yourself. Yeah, exactly. But I think if you put in the work, you're going to see the results. Yeah. And I try. I do my best to put in. Not I do my best. I do put in the work. Right. But yeah, it's just it's just a lot. And, and there'll, there'll be setbacks too, and that's how we. I'm, I think that's what it is because I'm waiting for that one because oh. I can't be like always like. Like this is just, um, I was watching the Chris Brown documentary, and then James Jamie Fox was saying, "I'm gonna say James Fox." Jamie Fox was saying <laughs> that it's something called um, God's balance, mm-hmm. where it's like something is always going right, and then just be ready for that one hit that's gonna help you like set back down, and then once that happens, then something else. It's just like this. It's like a roller coaster, right? So but I, I think just like, don't sit there and put it in the forefront of yeah, your brain, though, because yeah, you don't want to sit but, there and go, "Is this the day my like." Failure comes or yeah, my... <laughs> but I'm just but, always like, if it if it does happen, I'm not going to like, oh. Like, no, take like a full you don't hit. fall apart. Yeah. I, I always tell people, because we all have bad days. I have bad days on the air and days that I'm like, I completely failed okay. today. This is a good day, right? This is a good okay, day. Right. <laughs> we're 100, 100 we're episodes. Day. You know, <laughs> 100 episodes. Yeah. We can't fail on this one. We yeah. can't. But, you know, I have days and I, I sit there and I remind myself and I always tell people, you know what? It's okay to wallow in that failure for a day. Like, go mm. home. Eat your ice cream or your potato chips or whatever yeah. it is. You take a nap, whatever it is you need to do. But you got to wake up the next day and say, what did I learn? What are some steps I can do to rectify this? Yeah. How do I keep myself positive? Who can I ask for feedback? For help, yeah. Who, do I just who are need mentors? To talk to? Who yeah. do I need to talk to? Who's going to make me feel good but also give me the advice that I need? And exactly, sometimes yeah. we need to hear the hard things too. A lot of the times, yeah. Yeah. To just, I don't know. I think it helps me like – be able to hear the hard things is because I've like grown up with like just being like beat down like a lot so I have thicker skin so like a lot of stuff doesn't really hurt me as much Mm -hmm. so I'm like easier with like criticism Mm -hmm. shout out to everyone who was mean to me (laughs) no that's terrible but um, but yeah you you know but yeah I I think in this industry it does help to have a thicker skin yeah you I mean, really have to like you, you can't do. survive. You I mean, survive. we get comments even on social media sometimes, and I go, oh, okay. Yeah. Um, but I, I do realize that a lot of times, some of those critical comments, if you look at them, oftentimes they don't reflect you; they mm-hmm. reflect them yeah. and what they're going through. Yeah, and I'm, that's why I, I just like for me, it doesn't take a lot. Like if I'm see if I see something bad, or like if I'm just like not get like the best day or if i get like a bad text i just turn my phone off and like throw. i literally there's some times where i'm just like i throw my phone maybe that's why my phone doesn't work some of the time because <laughs> you've but been throwing it around i had like six phones <laughs> i mean i pay for them and my mom's like oh that's not the point i'm like then what's the point and she, we have this whole debate <laughs> well but, you should probably treat your phone with a little bit of i know respect, but like right? you know if you're having a bad day just throw it safely on the bed or couch maybe find like a stress ball to throw <laughs> that doesn't break i mean <laughs> but like in that time you're not gonna be like oh like I don't know. Like, let me find my stress ball. My stress, yeah, <laughs> exactly. I think it's under the bed. Hold uh, on. Stress it out. Trying to find your stress <laughs> let ball. Let me find. Like, wait. Okay, by the yeah, time you find your stress you're, you're ball, you're like, yeah. I'm just done. Um, but yeah, I mean, ideally, you're not throwing around your iPhone. Yeah. It, you know. But if I see some, I'm just like, you know what? I'll just try out the phone and then maybe go walk outside. Yes. I love walking out. I think for me, I just take everything differently because I'm an only child. Mm-hmm. So I've been, besides my parents, I've been really like independent and even... Me, like, I started traveling alone, like, two years ago. And I've just been, from there, it just helps me, like, make decisions on my own. Like, I don't feel like I really, like, I'm not like, all right, I have to, like, call somebody and, like, express how I feel. I'm just like, all right, let me just breathe and think about it and then go from there. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, because there's been a lot of predicaments where I just, like, I don't have enough time to call somebody or, like, You got to make a good decision in the moment. Just right there, yeah. So... Me being in those predicaments has really like helped me evolve. 
What? That's gonna be hard though, because you are you are under eighteen mm-hmm. and you're working in an adult um, industry, not yeah. the adult industry. People do not send me comments, I, but I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm where, not, I was like, yeah, yeah and no, I didn't do it. I was like, I, I was, was like, do not people. But what <laughs> I'm saying is, you are sur- constantly surrounded by adults, people who are over yeah. eighteen, and um, there are expectations placed on you when you're still a teen, you're still growing up, and yeah. everything else. Um, you you have to really have a good head on your shoulders and you yeah. know you have to remember too and I, I think of this you know with sean and casey and bailey all of you guys people like to be out like when they're in high school and uh-huh. doing things that sometimes they're not supposed to but you guys have a responsibility as role models yeah, and i think us because i was homeschooled since the third grade but also me being an only child i don't feel like oh like i need to go like hang out with my friends or like because i just like once i'm home i'm home and me like having dance is really like all right my, these are my friends so like and we are doing the same thing no right. one's really trying to like oh i'm trying to go like party tonight and i'm like yeah let me go do that with you like we're all tired after rehearsal <laughs> which is Ain't good. nobody trying to go like the most <laughs> we're gonna do is try to go to canes after and then go <laughs> home so yeah us just being in that environment it really just makes it easier to I don't even know. It just makes it just makes it easier for me. Like life keeps so on, much easier. Maybe does it keep you on track? Uh, having friends that sort yeah. of understand what you're going through. And a lot of adults in the dance like industry who are just like, don't do this. And you're like, you hear it so many times. You're like, all right, I wasn't planning on doing it, but. But I'm, they've seen the stories. I know, I've, I've and that's had, what's so crazy because yeah. I'm just like, how though? Like for me, I'm like, I'm not. I'm not gonna. Not gonna drink, not gonna smoke, not gonna et cetera, you know what I mean? And it's just like I guess it's just, you know, I think sometimes people come into your lives and you know you get that feeling know. like, I'm not sure they're the best person and yeah. that instinct was usually right yeah, the first off. And then you're like, Oh, I'll just give them a chance and then you start noticing bad things happen when they're around. Yeah. And I think that's what happens because I've had a couple um dancers who have been here and gotten themselves in situations and they just thought, I never thought I would be in this place. Mm-hmm. Um but they had let outside influences, you know, if they're having yeah. those days where the doubts start creeping in and it's not just one day of doubts, it's two days of doubts and then yeah, a week or a Yeah. Month. So yeah. it's just you just have to make sure you're you're surrounded with the positive people that are doing the right things. Yeah, I think I, I am though. That's why You're on track. Exactly. And I don't know. I just I can tell from the get go, I'm like, all right, I'm probably should not hang out with you for five more minutes or I'm gonna I'm gonna lose <laughs> you should it. go home yeah <laughs> time to go home what is it because I, I think that this is amazing I've had so many of this sort of 15 16 17 year old uh-huh. group of dancers you guys are all on you know Bailey you Sean and Casey you guys all know each other you're all performing together mm-hmm. you're all out there working in the industry what is it about you guys because I find that I feel like in 10 years we're going to be looking back at some of these interviews we've done and been like Gosh. look at how far they've even like, come look from at that. my hair <laughs> <laughs> we're it's probably going to be gone by then I don't know well I have obviously I have an interview with you in braces so we're oh, going to be yeah. <laughs> evolving through all of that so what is it about this group that is so special <sighs> that's a good question um I think what like dance wise or just in dance wise i mean but you know obviously being role models I, a lot of you started with wildebeest mm. um which is i think is kind of interesting i think i think what makes us so special is that we just we we like we haven't lost our passion for dance mm-hmm. and i don't think i don't think i ever am because i'm always like with the right people and i like always just am like finding new inspirations and like people to like keep me going and i'm just like i want to be like you right and i'm not gonna stop until i am like you so all that stuff and it's just like having a group of people like that you're like okay we're all chilling like we're all we're all not gonna like go on like different tangents and like do like stuff to like jeopardize what we love right and what you've already worked so hard for exactly like we're already in like we've already done world of dance two seasons in a row like which is incredible i'm not trying to I don't know, like end it all in like a minute or like in like a short decision. Right. And I think also, yeah, that's really it. Just like me having like a strong group of people, like even Julian, like Julian and Char. I've known Char since I was like, I think 11. Mm -hmm. And then I've known Julian since I was like seven, not seven, 11. But yeah, (laughs) Um, I think about like six or seven and us coming. Well, like I moved out here when I was 13 or 12, 13 or 12. And him moving out here me is like still keeping me grounded because he's something from back home right and i have all these people from like the east coast 
who are moving out here and i'm just like okay i still have like i'm still remembering who i am right and i never forgot but like this has helped me like always stay true to who i am because all these people who i grew up with are here staying grounded exactly and like julian's my best friend and it's just like after once he started to like teach and like blow up and i was just like is he gonna like turn la on me mm -hmm. and he like did and i was just like he's like a person that I, I know i'm always gonna have in my life and that's what's just like all these little things are just like like i'm good like, yeah just taking little mental notes like yeah. no this is good he's had great success he's still true he's to still his good. roots yeah, yeah he's not oh he's wearing glasses inside like is that weird is he <laughs> yeah so no and i think that's interesting i'm from the east coast as well and most hey, of so? yeah hey. i'm from massachusetts hey. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but I do think it's interesting. Most of my friends are either from the New England area or they're from my time living in New York City. Okay, yeah. And a lot of them have moved out here. And that's kind of who I hang out with because I think it makes me feel most like yeah. me, who I grew up as. Yeah, you know, it makes that, you feel like you're like a child again. Like from Yeah, that I'm that nine-year-old in yeah. like little town Massachusetts. I know that a lot of my friends know who that is. That's why we, um, we usually do this. I wanted to start doing it more. But I told my mom, like, we should go home for, like, all of January mm -hmm. and just, like, like, because usually in L.A., like, everyone's home or, like, no one's really, like, all right, I'm trying to get back in class unless you're, like, an actor. Then it's, like, pilot season. Right. But for me, I was just, like, we should just, we just got to stay home, like. Enjoy it. And just chill because, like, my dad still has a job on the East Coast. Mm -hmm. So I rarely know or I still, like, never see him. Mm -hmm. So I was just, like, that's, like, my dad time. And then it turned into, like, me, like booking a lot of stuff so i had to go back and forth right but she still got to stay home and like nice. be home with my dad and i was just like were you home know. alone here in la yeah i was but uh, very responsible I mean, I mean yeah you know oh uh, <laughs> that was yeah taking care of my cat had to clean his litter box see was, there are responsibilities uh, but all that stuff was like okay now i like i'll understand or i'll be ready for when i have my own place and i'm not like Oh, I have my own place. Like, what do I do? And now? then you it's also like, appreciate your mom too exactly, when she's yeah. out here because you realize, oh, the litter box gets done a lot more like, when she's yeah, around. Yeah, I'm like, it's so, it's so big. Like, why? <laughs> like, and then I, I remember I cleaned it, and then he was still like, I think I don't know if he was pissed at me, but he would poop in the bathroom. He missed your and mom. That's why. Now he doesn't even like her, but. <laughs> Cause she's been gone for so long. <laughs> she's back though. She's here in studio with she's us. She's coming back. He's still like she's gonna leave again. That's what I feel like. Well, that's a cat's job is to um, love you and then punish you when you go away yeah, and then and let then you know, scratch you, and when it's time. <sighs> yeah, there's for so, them there's to so love much. you again. Because that's the reason why we got a cat. Cause I wanted the dog. Cause I'm a dog person. We have a dog back home. His name is Rascal. Shout out Rascal. I know you can't listen to me, but miss you. Um, <laughs> but my mom was like, we should just get a cat because you know it's um they're like lovable and like they're, they're easy to take care of you and gotta take them outside or like really care for them she didn't say that but that's what like i thought she meant and then we get our cat and we leave him for like a day and he's just like oh like so sad and has like separation anxiety and it's just like he needs our attention i'm like i thought you're supposed to be chill you're supposed to be chill and now i feel like i have a dog so we should just get a dog <laughs> that dogs are a lot of work if you don't have a yard all the time but it's like i'd rather have a lot of work and then like think that i have like no work and then still have a lot of work <laughs> so yeah all right josh so we had you here last year uh we had yep. you here this year uh what is the short-term goal for 2019 what is your dance goal dance goal is to start putting out more concert videos showing people that i'm not just a dancer that i'm a choreographer mm -hmm. and to let people get more into my life but in a true manner. Authentic. Yes. That's and then good. the end all goal is to be a creative director like Nappy Tabs. And take over to, the world. Need to find my tab. But <laughs> yeah, that's, or like Josh Smith, he's creative director for Chris Brown or Nick Demore, just like to, cause I feel like I could put on a good show and I just need to have more knowledge in my pocket and like figure out the right way instead of like just trying to rush it. Yep. And you know, you yeah. can, be mentored by these people exactly. and work as assistants to them and yeah and just shadow them and i just because i just really just want to watch like i just need to watch and get more experience and then because for like me mentoring is like literally just watching and like not like trying to be all in it because if you do that then you won't you'll just be like copying them instead mm -hmm. of just watching then you're like okay how can i make this do this but then have my own version of it so i'm just yeah you're 16 sky's the limit i know yeah <laughs> i young. love this yeah. 
Well, believe it or not, our time is up together. So Dang, that's crazy. Hundredth episode. Dang, it is a wrap. That's crazy. I know, but this was good. Yeah, it was a good episode. I yeah. appreciate you coming on for our one hundredth episode of Anytime. To the Point. Anytime, I'll be back. I don't know, maybe one fifty. I'll just one. do like every halfway mark. I love like it. One twenty five, one fifty, two hundred. You're here, Josh. 1,000, you know, we'll just keep going. Let's do it. Let's yes. make it happen. Uh, High five to that. Thank you. If people want to find you on social media, where can they find you? Instagram is at official Josh Price. I wanted Josh Price, but he said no, and he took my name. Twitter yeah. is I am official. Oh, no, I am. I uh, am Josh Price. Yeah. Ooh, that was rough. Uh, don't have MySpace. Vine isn't a thing anymore. And uh, yeah, that's really all. That, that's YouTube. It. You'll Ooh, be- YouTube is I am Josh A. Price. I think that's right. Or Could just be look wrong. Up, if you look up Josh Price, yeah, you'll see. Yeah, you'll see me like on smiling. All right, YouTube, do this all day. I found it right away. Not Thank a problem. You. Thank you. <laughs> you bet. But yeah, I'm just trying to. Yeah, I'll be posting a lot more on YouTube. So, but yeah, Build stay on the lookout for that. Base. Yes. All right, you guys. We are gonna flip totally opposite from World of Dance next week. We're gonna have ballet. Yes. Yes. Someone from American Ballet Theater as well. I know. It's kind of, that was like the toes. They're yeah. just like the toes. We're going to go to the point. I promised you guys more ballet in 2019 and it's going to happen. We will see you all next week. Thank you for all of your support for our 100th episode. Yes. Thanks to Dance Network, Popcorn Talk, and all of you. We'll see uh-huh. you next week. Bye. From producers Maria Menunos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire Popcorn Talk Network, we would like to thank you for tuning in. For questions or comments, be sure to visit popcorntalk.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of the Popcorn Talk Network. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of the Popcorn Talk Network or its owners or principals.